you are in the sanctuary of Evangelical Lutheran Church. We were part of General Hospital Number no. 4, which really was comprised of three buildings. Evangelical Lutheran Church, Winchester Seminary across the street, now Winchester Hall, and a Methodist Episcopal Church, which was about a half a block up where the parking deck now is. So General Hospital Number no. 4 nursed about 920 patients during that time period. The church was actually seized by the hospital authorities on September 15th of 1862, and it became a temporary military hospital for the next four months. When a soldier would have been brought here to this church, it would have already been turned into a hospital. They wouldn't have seen these pews because a rough board floor was laid on the top of the pews, and that became the floor of the hospital. What they would have seen, though, are rows of beds, iron bedsteads, with mattresses, pillows, sheets, etc., provided. And they would have seen members of the church and the community here to help nurse them. The town and the, and the congregation provided food and supplies for both the medical staff and the soldiers. They brought reading material for the soldiers. Our ladies formed a ladies' union relief association and they rolled and rolled and rolled bandages. They collected money for supplies and food and helped to administer as best they could. The balconies of our church were actually used by guards. We had both Confederate and Union soldiers here, so they were here to help maintain peace and order, but also to discourage deserters because many of the patients here were quite ambulatory by the time they got here.